great universities are built on academic excellence and scholarship. And great collegiate sports programs are built on traditions and achievements on the playing field. For both a university and its athletics program to endure, one important element must be present. And that element is the legacy of philanthropy, commitment, and friendship provided by exceptional donors. At the University of Houston, we've been blessed with the unique legacy of two remarkable families and a remarkable alumnus. Many are the facilities and programs on campus graced by the Cullen and Robertson name. One of the most visible is Robertson Stadium, named in honor of Corbin J. Robertson to celebrate his lifelong commitment and passion for Houston athletics. It is here at Robertson Stadium that the legacy of these two remarkable families, the Cullens and the Robertsons, and a remarkable alumnus, John M. O'Quinn, come together. John O'Quinn, already a generous supporter of the UH Law Center, which provided him the education that made possible his incredible success as an attorney, contributed his own unique legacy to the success of Houston sports. A charter member of Cougar Pride, a supporter of the Spirit of Houston Cougar Marching Band, a provider of scholarships for student athletes, and a familiar face at almost every home football game, John O'Quinn was a true fan, friend, and committed alumnus of the University of Houston. Never was there a bigger smile on John O'Quinn's face than when he was enjoying a hard-fought contest between his beloved Cougars and a visiting team, either on the gridiron or on the basketball court. That love for his alma mater sports programs was highlighted in 1998, when he made an exceptionally generous gift to refurbish the private boxes and the playing field, now named John O'Quinn Field, in his honor at Robertson Stadium. Accomplishments such as next year's move into the Big East Conference and the building of the new football stadium would not be possible without the dedication, passion, and generosity of John O'Quinn.